course, Stella's come out with a cookbook called Really Cooking with Stella Part, and part of the proceeds go where? To the Nashville Coalition for the Homeless. Great. Good for you. Okay, so what recipe? Should we just flip through today and pick one? Or no, I'm going to make a tuna pie, and this is a real easy recipe, and you notice A we... tuna pie, is this dessert, or is this... No, it's kind of like a chicken pot pie or so something like, casserole. like that. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're going to use pie crust and everything, but what we're going to do real quick, like, I don't know how much time we have, Debbie. you got all the time gonna, in the world. Uh, we didn't have measuring cups. We're going to put a half a cup of uh, green peas. Okay. And a half a cup of uh, carrots. So you're a little lefty, huh? Good? Yeah. I know you're lefty. Are you lefty, too? No, no, but no? Bubby is my little one, my three-year-old. It oh. looks like he's going to be left-handed. And then we're going to put uh, two small boiled potatoes in here. Uh-huh. And we're going to put a family-sized can of white tuna that's in water. I like it better with the water. Is this a recipe that growing up, you all had to, you know, since you had so many kids in the family, you all had to make do with stuff? And... Uh, no, actually, this was a recipe that uh, my son uh, brought home uh, in one of his little recipe books from school. And we're oh. going to take, instead of the cream sauce that the recipe calls for, it's on page yeah, 79 in the uh -huh. cookbook, yeah. uh, we're going to take a half a can of Campbell's uh, cream of celery soup. because why you switch that? Because I didn't have time to make cream sauce, and bes besides, this uh, Campbell's cream of celery soup mm -hmm. gives it a little more flavor. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, we're going to mix that all up with a little bit of salt and pepper, just how much you want. It doesn't okay. matter. Okay. Okay. And I don't know how much time we have. Are we running okay? Oh, on you're time? doing great. You can, I we just got love about four to minutes. Smear it all together. <laughs> <laughs> and you're then we're going to put the tuna in. Okay. Yeah, growing up, did you have tuna much? I mean, that was sort of like a, a delicacy at our house. Yeah, tuna salad, that was the big thing, tuna salad sandwiches. I had one yesterday, as a matter of fact. But, I mean, growing up when you're so poor and all? Mm, we didn't have tuna, no. Daddy had, it for butter, his, huh? Daddy had it for his lunch, and sometimes we'd steal his lunch stuff. <laughs> Would you? But, yeah. <laughs> Did you ever do something like that? No, oh, more times You didn't have than to I worry about your daddy's lunch. We always like to steal fruit, like bananas and apples and stuff, out of daddy's lunch stuff. Now we're going to put this all together in here. My daddy always says they were so poor he made things like for lunch, like ketchup sandwiches. Oh. Now would a kid want to steal a ketchup sandwich? No way. <laughs> put all okay. that together. And if you got time, you can mix it up a lot better than that, but that's good enough. That way the vegetables are all kind of still keep their shape. Now what we're going to do is we're going to roll out this pie shell right That's here. Is something that your son liked? Yeah. Yeah, this is his recipe, really. Yeah, so he brought it home because he liked yeah. it so much, huh? Mm-hmm. And it's easy and quick. Okay, so what are you doing there now? We're going to put this other pie shell here on this. And we're going to roll this out. I never know how you and your top. sisters would really cook with nails like you all have. Now, yours, yours aren't as long as Dolly's, huh? No. Does Dolly really cook with those nails? Well, she can cook. I mean, with she's those nails on a little off. bit more salt than I like, but she's oh, a good oh. cook. Yeah. So you really cook at home, huh? Yeah. You'll hire it out? Yeah. Are you kidding? <laughs> hire it out? My goodness. <laughs> well, you know, if you think big stars, you don't cook for yourself. Sometimes I pick up stuff at Kroger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Already done. How much time we have? Do I you're still have time Any to of those rings have any? We're, we're seeing your rings do so pretty. Look, that one does funky things. That's it not moves. funky. Well, we're well, <laughs> funky, and I'm trying to cook. Debbie. <laughs> any of those rings have special significance? Yeah, this one's like a worry rock. You know, it's something. I wondered what it was doing. Well, you just sit there and flick it, huh? Yeah. This uh, pie crust, okay. I think, has gotten a little dry sitting here. That's all right. But we'll keep So basically, rolling. you're going to use it to cover that whole thing. Yeah, and now we have one already made that I'm going to let you uh, try or let some of our audience try okay. in a few okay, minutes. Okay, great. We have a taster? Somebody likes tuna fish? Our pet of the week is a, it's not a cat we today. Do have a taster? <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Hi, what's your name? Patsy. Patsy. Mm -hmm. Are we okay, ready to Pat. try that? Sure. I'm going to take that it. out of yeah. the oven. Yeah, because we get the idea. And you put it in the oven for oh, how long? It's nice and hot. For 40 minutes at 400 degrees. Okay. Ooh, Ooh it's now hot. that looks pretty. Doesn't that look good? Yeah. And yet it's a real easy dish. You can just throw it together. Can I tell everybody how they can order my book? Oh, go ahead. P.O. Box 120295, Nashville, Tennessee. 37212. You probably didn't get that so quickly, but what I'll do is I'll go and put it on the hotline right after the show and update the hotline is for you, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'll put it on there and uh, you can write for it. Pretty uh, dishes today. You even brought some silverware. This is the fanciest silverware we've ever seen in the talk of the town kitchen. Let's see how good we do about this here. Okay. Is this real gold, Stella? What do you think? <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, there you go. All right, let's see. What would you serve along with it? Would you do a salad or what? Big iced tea, I guess. Some applesauce? Some jello or something. Just make it real yeah. country and real fun. 
How is it? What do you think? Is it good? Yeah. Something good. delicious. If your mama made that, you wouldn't just, you know, boot her out of the kitchen. <laughs> I eat the whole thing. You'd eat the whole thing. Good. Well, that's good. Hey, Mikey, <laughs> she likes it. Stella, thank you so much. Thank you, Debbie. It's uh, really cooking with Stella Parton. I'll put that information on the hotline, okay? And she's a cutie pie. We'll take a break. Coming up next, tips on how to have a really successful life when Talk of the Town continues. By the way, this is recipe number 676 when you're right for it. If you'd like to get a copy of any of the recipes we feature on the show, just send a self-addressed legal-sized envelope to Talk of the Town Recipes, 474.